Hello and thanks for joining me, Bryn Lucas, for this latest in our guides to the best spots in Britain to relocate to. And today it's all about beautiful Chester, a really lovely city on the River Dee, close to the Welsh borders. If you're among the many people are thinking of moving, I definitely recommend you grab one of Phil Spencer's Move IQ property reports. This will give you an in-depth look at any individual home you might be considering, and it's especially useful if you're moving to a new area. It gives you the lowdown on the neighborhood, crime rates, schools, local amenities, planning, and all kinds of useful information besides. There's a link below so you can find out more now or head to moveiq.co.uk where you'll find this alongside all kinds of advice, shortcuts, step-by-steps, and insider information for home buyers, sellers, and renters. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our guides to all things property related. From the moment you set foot in Chester, you'll discover a special atmosphere. Beautiful buildings and a thousand year old cathedral encircled by the imposing city walls make Chester feel like its own little world. But what's it really like to live in this former Roman fortress? Chester was founded in AD 79 by the Romans and used as a fort as the army expanded northwards. It was the largest fortress built by the Romans and some historians believe it was supposed to become the capital instead of London. And while this is a place that never forgets its past, it's also one that enjoys the present with a vibrant city centre full of life. Once named one of the best places to live in the UK by the Sunday Times, Chester has a range of housing. Popular areas include Boughton and the city centre, a hotspot for apartments, while Hull is more about family homes, including semi and detached properties. Chester properties are around 10% more expensive than the UK average, with detached homes averaging nearly 400,000 and one bedroom departments in the region of 180 grand. There are plenty of places to rent here. In fact, 40% of Chester residents do so, with one bedroom properties costing around 650 a month. The cost of living is pretty much in line with the British average, although utilities tend to be a touch cheaper here, including broadband, although generally speeds aren't that impressive. While we're talking downsides, Chester doesn't have the best travel connections. Train services to Liverpool, Manchester and Crewe, where you can change to get to London, Birmingham and Cardiff, can be slow, and there's no tram or metro service. Other than that, what's not to like? Crime rates are low, and from landmarks to shops, restaurants, cafes and bars, there's plenty to see and do. Big shopping malls like the Grosvenor Shopping Centre vie for your cash with independent boutiques in the rows, a 700-year-old two-tiered covered shopping gallery. There are some fabulous food spots like The Architect, which is a quintessential gastro pub with snug settings and a roaring fire. Restaurant 1539 offers afternoon teas in front of floor to ceiling windows overlooking the finishing post at Chester Racecourse. Sounds like a good bet. There are plenty of cultural gems too. The Story House is an entertainment complex with a theatre, cinema and library. And the famous Lady Lever Art Gallery displaying works by Reynolds, Gainsborough and Stubbs is just a 20 minute train ride from the city. And don't forget Chester Zoo, star of TV's Secret Life of the Zoo, which is an extremely popular attraction for all ages. Access to green spaces has become an important criteria for the best places to live, and Chester has them in abundance. Grosvenor Park is an award-winning 20-acre site just outside the city walls, and of course, you're within easy reach of the Welsh countryside and the coast. If all this has inspired you to find out more about moving to Chester, don't forget Move IQ's property report and subscribe to join me for our next area guide. I'll see you soon.